Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to show you how to launch Amazon FBA products using ManyChat. My team's been working really hard on a new tool called RebatePal. So with RebatePal, you'll be able to create rebate and coupon offers and use them using ManyChat with our tool. Our tool makes it incredibly easy for you to launch products using ManyChat with just a few clicks of a button. I'll also show you how to create Facebook ads. That way you can easily integrate these Facebook ads with your ManyChat campaigns and have RebatePal fulfill either the coupons or the rebate promotions that you run. So buckle up, grab some popcorn because this is one tutorial you're not gonna wanna miss. And if this is your first time watching one of my YouTube videos, be sure to subscribe to this channel. That way as I release new videos like this, you'll get notified. So what is RebatePal? Well, RebatePal is a platform that we've been working on over the past 12 months with a database of over 50,000 verified Amazon shoppers looking for great deals on Amazon products. We connect Amazon sellers who want to offer great rebates or coupons on our platform and offer their products at a discount in order to boost their sales velocity. Now these shoppers love great deals and we want to make it as easy as possible for sellers to generate much needed sales to help them rank and dominate on Amazon. Now in addition to our platform of shoppers, we also wanted to offer sellers a ManyChat integration. For those of you sellers who want to drive your own traffic using Facebook ads, now you can easily do that with just a few clicks of a button. We'll facilitate the entire process for you in delivering rebates or coupons directly to your buyers instantly. That's exactly what we're going to go over right now is going over a ManyChat mock campaign and show you step by step how you can create your first Facebook ad campaign and drive traffic to your product on Amazon using RebatePal and ManyChat. All right, so now I'm just going to quickly take you through the account setup flow so we can go ahead and get started. So once you visit the RebatePal website, just go ahead and click on seller right here in the menu bar and scroll all the way down to where it gets started. If you want more detailed information on the exact process that we use, you can go through everything that we have here on the website so that we can get further education on all of the benefits that Rebate Pelt has to offer for you. So for this instance, I'm just gonna scroll to the bottom and you can even start your seven day trial for only $1. Again, I wanted to make this as easy as possible for you guys. So you can get started for only just $1 and begin your seven day trial on our alpha plan. All right, so now that you've created an account with RebatePal, the first thing you're gonna wanna do is connect your MWS settings. So in the menu bar, just go ahead and click on MWS settings right here. Follow the instructions on the left and then go ahead and click save. Now, once you do that, now you're ready to begin creating your first ManyChat campaign. So again, in the menu bar, just click on ManyChat integrations, click on MCI campaigns to begin setting up the workflow. Okay. So the very first thing you're going to want to do is create new MCI right here. And then go ahead and pick whichever flow you want to do, whether it's a rebate flow or coupon flow. In this example, we're going to run a coupon flow. So in this case, I'm going to hit create right here. So this screen that you're at right now is where you're going to actually create the MCI campaign. So the only thing you need to do here is fill out your product information and some campaign details. So all you have to do is put your ASIN right here. You can name the coupon flow, whatever you'd like. This is for you only. So in this case, I'm going to put Dead Sea Mask coupon launch made main keyword phrase. Let's go ahead and do Dead Sea Mask. Go ahead and put the price of your product. And let's say we're going to offer a 50% coupon. So I'll just put 50% right there. The URL will automatically send it to your listing right here. Or if you wanted to use a super URL, you can go ahead and put that in this section right here. The daily coupon limit, you can put it to whatever you'd like. In this case, let's say I want to do uh, 300 sales at 50% off over a period of 10 days. So let's go ahead and set the limit to 30 coupons a day. After the ManyChat flow has distributed all 30 coupons, it won't send any more coupons until after 24 hours. So we do a hard stop to allow you to control how many coupons or rebates you want to set per day. And in this section right here is where you'll go ahead and put your coupon codes that you create on Amazon. So for this example, I'm just going to put coupon code. These are the coupon codes you create in the promotions tab on Amazon. So under Amazon's uh, marketing dashboard, just create your coupons. It'll be single use. 
And the little disclaimers that we have at the bottom here are disclaimers that we put for just for your protection. So for one, whenever you're running this type of campaign, you don't want a user to potentially use more than one coupon. So in that instance, we ask that you also set the listing max order quantity to one. And you can have, a, there's a little bit more information here if you click on it. And also when you're creating the coupon, again, to avoid anyone using the coupon more than once, go ahead and set the rule on the coupon to limit one per customer. Again, this will give the coupon itself some hard rules to only allow each user one use of the coupon and that way they can't share it or anything like that. So this really protects your account uh, from any you know mischievous buyers, if you will. Now at this point, again, this entire thing took like 30 seconds. All you have to do now is create your campaign. Once you click on that, the next screen is now the import of the ManyChat template. Again, this, if you have any questions at all, you can also review the steps here. Again, we have screenshots to make this extremely easy for you. All we're doing here is we're just installing this template into ManyChat. So all you have to do is click on import template. And what this is going to do is it's actually going to install all of the information to your ManyChat flow. So just click on install. Find your Facebook page, click install again, and lastly, install one more time. So now what it's doing is it's moving all the information over to ManyChat. So the first thing you're going to want to do once it's installed on ManyChat is you're going to want to give your template a name. So for this example, just click on view template and I'm just going to name the template the name of the flow. So I'm just going to put dead sea mask 50% coupon and we'll go ahead and click save. Perfect. So we just named the template. Now you have to create a growth tool to integrate the template. The growth tool is what actually communicates with your Facebook ads. So just click on the growth tool section right here, then new growth tool, scroll down to where it says Facebook ads, JSON. And actually before we do that, we can go ahead and give this a name. So we'll call it again, dead sea mask, 50% coupon. And now go ahead and click where it says Facebook ads, JSON. Now that you're on the opt-in flow section, just click replace and find the flow you just created, which was the Dead Sea Mask 50% coupon. Okay. So now you click on the flow again under where it says name and select this flow. Boom. And now you're done with the Manny chat portion of it. So now that you have ManyChat set up, let's go ahead and create the Facebook ads to show you how to connect your ManyChat with your Facebook ads. All right, so now that you're inside Facebook, let's go ahead and create a test ad so that way you can see how to connect this to ManyChat. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is click on create inside your Facebook ad dashboard and go ahead and make sure messages is selected since we're doing a messenger campaign, then click continue. You can name your campaign whatever you'd like and then click next. And now we're going to go ahead and put some information at the ad set level. So you can scroll down here and put whatever your desired budget would be and go ahead and make sure if you have any custom audiences, you can go ahead and add that there. But what we're going to do is we're going to refine some of the audience targets that they have that identify with this example. So our product in this example is a Dead Sea face mask. So people who are most likely gonna buy that product are people who are into beauty products. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and identify our target audience. So let's go ahead and put the ages of uh, 26 all the way to 65. Um, this is gonna be a bit broad and we're gonna target women first in this example. Again, your audience can be very different. We're just going through the motion so you can see how to connect this to ManyChat. So this is the age range for our product, Dead Sea Mask. This is who our target audience is. And now what we're going to do is we're going to add some uh, a little more interest to further narrow this down. So what we can do is we can put some really popular beauty brands like Ulta. So people who are into Ulta Beauty, we'll put that right there. We can also put Mac Makeup. Mac Cosmetics, we can do that. 
let's look at some of the skincare keywords and audience that they have. So we're also going to put skincare and we're going to find it right here. So we'll do skincare and we'll see that the audience is a little bit large. It's at 30 million. So I'm going to narrow this a little bit further. I'm going to type in skincare again. And I'm going to put in natural skincare. And now we have it down to 5 million. We can work with 5 million. So you can see right here in our targeting that we're targeting people who like beauty, who like skincare, and to further refine that. So they need to match both of these categories, the audiences that we're targeting. They also need to be into natural skincare, which is what our product is, a dead sea mask. It's natural, it's mud. So with just those two filters, I think I feel comfortable moving forward now and go ahead and also make sure you select the language. In this case, we're targeting US and we're gonna target English. So I always put English all. And I also wanna do manual placements. I wanna control where the Facebook ads gonna be shown so that way I don't waste any ad spend. I wanna target people who are most likely gonna click on the product and redeem our offer. So I'm gonna make sure to, to check off stories. I'm gonna check off search. I'm also gonna check off in article. I only want to be shown on the feed. So that's going to be the Instagram feed and the Facebook feed. And I'm going to just click on more options right here. And you can select devices if you'd like. You can also check if they want to connect to Wi-Fi. So if the audience is connected to Wi-Fi, only then will they be shown an ad. Maybe because they're at home relaxing or wherever. Odds are if they're connected to Wi-Fi, they're more in a home setting. I'm going to just leave all of those off for now and just apply uh, this setting right here where it's just targeting the feeds. And you can see all of these other filters I'm not going to touch. And I'm not also going to do the bid control. So the only things I'm going to do are target the audience right here. People who like natural skincare, manual placements, right? I'm targeting Instagram and Facebook. And the only one I have highlighted is feeds. That's the only one I have highlighted. Now I'm going to go ahead and create the actual ad and just go ahead and click on next to do so. Now the final step is finishing the ad and connecting it to ManyChat. So in this final step, you're just gonna to wanna to make sure you have a few things covered. So just make sure your Facebook page and Instagram account are correct. Go ahead and make sure you have single image or video selected. And this is where you're gonna add your media. So since I'm not a graphic designer, I'm not gonna take you through a media design course, but you can do something you know, kind of like this for the Facebook ad, nothing fancy. You can get someone on Fiverr to create a Facebook ad for you. Um, the simpler, the better we found. Okay, so you'll add your media there and go ahead and put your text. Since this is your product, you can give it the best light possible. So in this case, I'm just gonna put 50% off coupon on Amazon. You'll wanna put much more than that. Um, but since this is your product, I'll leave you to that. And so for the headline, you can just put something catchy like the discount. So in this case, we'll put 50% off on Amazon with exclusive coupon. Just something catchy. It doesn't have to be complicated. You don't have to put anything in the description. Send message. Make sure that's the default. And here's the most important part of this entire flow. Right here where it says message template, make sure you select advanced setup. Go ahead and click on edit and now go back to ManyChat. Find your growth tool right here, which is the Dead Sea Mask 50% coupon. Click on setup. And now what you're going to do is copy this, right? This is your ManyChat flow. Go back to your Facebook ad and inside the advanced JSON setup, I just click this, the top right here. Do command A to delete all of that and then command V to copy or just paste whatever those uh, are for you and just paste it into the flow right there. And you can name your flow, whatever you'd like, save and finish. And all you have to do now is click on publish. So now what you've done is you've connected, you've created your many chat promotion, 50% off, and you've also created your Facebook ad. And now you connected everything together inside your Facebook ad with the JSON. I try to make this as simple as possible for you guys. And as you can see, the entire process is extremely easy.
Well, there you have it. How to launch Amazon FBA products using ManyChat and Facebook ads. I really hope you found this tutorial very resourceful and easy to follow. Now, if you want to see for yourself just how powerful RebatePal is and how it can help you improve your Amazon FBA business, don't forget to start your trial today for only $1. Again, thank you so much for watching. And if you have any questions at all, please leave me a comment below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. I'll see you guys on the next video.